Hey guys, Anthro here, and welcome to episode 4 of Skyrim Under the Radar Mods. Um, I have got to this week, and we'll get straight into it right after I've defended this Stormcloak camp and killed this pesky little dragon. Alright, so do you like exploring the, the wilderness of Skyrim? Do you like hunting mighty, uh, uh, mighty, no, no, uh, Ah, there we go. Mighty. The mighty beasts of the world. Then this mod is for you. It is called Hunting in Skyrim, and it does a couple things to the beautiful world, and it really encourages you to kind of get out and look at it. So, if you go into your archery perk tree, if I can find it, there, you go, there it is, and you you find some new perks in there. Uh, Hunter's Discipline, there's five ranks to that, and bows do more damage to animals. Handy for killing giant mammoths. Hunter's Discipline has a new rank, which means that you recover all arrows from bodies that you shot them into. And Vampire Hunter, uh, bows do more damage to vampires, pretty self-explanatory. Um, also, it adds, um, it doesn't add stuff, but it makes um, hides way less and worth more, so hunting is actually a viable source of income early in-game, and you know, you can carry more and do more and you know, it, it makes prof hunting really profitable and, you know, really worth it. So, if you really want to get out and ex explore the outdoors of Skyrim, I highly recommend downloading this mod. I've had a lot of fun with it, and I'm sure you will do. So, for this next word, you have to go to a blacksmith forge. Go under your Daedric category, you will need Daedric smithing for this. And there will be a new entry called the Thresher mod. So, if you go ahead and craft that, and go into your items and equip it, you know, it's a... It's a fairly decent weapon, you know, um, I don't use two-handed at the moment, but, you know, when I do, I'll pro probably end up using this. You know, the textures are not really high quality, you know, it's a really detailed, kind of unique weapon. You know, like, it, it looks really nice, the rune's nice, and it actually looks like it could do some serious damage to someone. Um, you know, I like it, it's, you know, there's not really much else to say about it. Um, you know, it would make a nice weapon for your follower, and it just generally looks like it really could do some really nasty damage to someone if they were hit with it. So, this next mod, it's called Killer Traps, and it makes traps deadly. So in Vanilla Skyrim, if I were to go walk on this pressure plate, get hit, you can see how, how I didn't lose very much health there. And if I go into my skills, you can see that I only have 165 health total, at level 50, so you would expect traps to be, you know, a bit more of a challenge than that. But with this mod, if I go and walk on the same pressure plate, same trap, you can see I have almost no health left, I was almost killed. It makes, you know, dungeons actually more challenging, you have to look out for traps, um, you know, so it's not just kind of, you know, hack and slash, just kind of walk through, oh, there's a trap there, whoop de doo you know, so it makes dun dying in the dungeon an actual, an actual possibility. So, for this last mod, it's called Mini Meat Draugr Follower, and what it is, it is a Draugr Follower. Now, it's it works a bit different to your standard kind of follower mods, and what it does, it adds a little Draugr Follower. So, when you install the mod, this guy will be added to your game. So, you can see there, when I crouched, he went invisible, so he's not going to spoil your stealthiness with those sneaky characters. Um, and you know, he's happy to kind of follow you around and kind of be your little pet. Um, you know, you can, uh, m you know, tell him to follow you or wait there, you know, to kind of be a little statue for you. Um, he starts, he starts off with a sword and this amulet, so if you go ahead and, you know, equip the amulet, he comes to you. But, um, you know, I just give him the thresher all. And you can see he's equipped it and re he's ready to go. Um, if you tell him to wait, he says that. I don't know what the first word means, but I know Croesus means misery, so he's, you know, not too happy about being left behind. And that amulet, if you go ahead and equip it, it doesn't unequip anything. You, so if you equip it, and you'll find Mini Meat will teleport to you, so, you know, you can't lose him if you, you know, if he falls somewhere, you know, oh he'll get, you know, might get lost. And, you know, it's a, it's a nice follower, you know, it's different, it's cool. And, you know, you can really have some fun with this guy. So, um, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, don't forget to subscribe or thumbs if you like the video. Um, uh, tune in later for further episodes. And, um, yeah, uh, please send me links to mods that you think are great or you think 
um, you know, or that you like, uh, you know, your mods, I'll be happy to check them out. And, um, yeah, peace out.